Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you guys have already been here before. Today is day four of Vlogmas and my other Vlogmas videos have been kind of long so today I wanted to break it up and just do a quick little Christmas craft. So I actually saw this on Pinterest and I'm doing my own little variation on it. I was going to follow it exactly how they did it. But then when I went to the craft store, they ended up not having the same little stars that the original pin used. So I just got these little bows, which I thought were still pretty cute. So basically what they do is they take a wine cork and super glue it to the bottom of a little pine cone. And then they put a little wooden star on top. But again, like I said, they didn't have any wooden stars stars at the store that I went to. I'm just gonna have to work with what I got. So I just got this like package of crazy glue and I have um, a bunch of wine corks. <laughs> I love wine. Don't judge me. I just have a bunch of wine corks and a bunch of these little pine cones, the scented ones. And God, it smells so good. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be super gluing the corks to the bottom and putting a little star on top and just doing a cutesy little Christmas craft because I thought that that would be fun. And you know, it's always, I love doing Christmas crafts and like any Christmas decoration that I can make myself. I just really love to do that because I feel like that's part of what makes Christmas decorating so fun in like the next coming years is looking at your old decorations and being able to say, oh, I remember when I made that. I like the ones that are more like this instead of like the barefoot ones. The barefoot ones just seem kind of like plain. This one has like more texture to it. So I think I'm gonna try and use mainly those ones. Also, it says I'm supposed to protect my workspace. Definitely not doing that. So hopefully this isn't like too much of a crazy fail. Oh, this doesn't stand up yeah that seems like a really good marketing idea make a crazy glue that you can't stand back up that's stupid who designed this <laughs> also this pine cone is not flat <laughs> this is gonna be more of a fail than I thought <laughs> it's not flat on the bottom it has like a little thing sticking out which I should have cut off I don't know why I didn't I have scissors you know I feel like this is just like a learning curve whenever I do crafts on this channel it's always like I have an idea of something and I watch somebody execute it perfectly and then I go to do it and I'm like wait what <laughs> I'm like how'd you do that how long am I gonna have to hold this for I just want to like shove the little piece into the cork but I'm gonna crush the pine cone in my hand if I do that. This is just not staying at all. Why is the glue not working? Uh, it's supposed to look like this and it's not, it's not staying. Wow, this glue smells disgusting. How long are you supposed to hold this for? My dog thinks it's a treat. It's not a treat, it's a bow. But look at how cute these tiny little bows are. I got these from the dollar store and they're so friggin' cute! Also, this glue's not drying, I just ripped it off. I need flatter pine cones. How'd they get the pine cones so flat? I did it! This crazy glue literally sucks. It's like not sticking to anything. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought crazy glue was supposed to dry in like 30 seconds. Like, what you doing with that? Uh, uh, uh. It's literally taking me 13 minutes to do this. <laughs> I'm weak. I was like, today's gonna be such a short video. <laughs> okay, I got a different kind of super glue, so we're gonna see if that works. We'll see if this works. 
Oh my god, it did it. Okay, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. No! It's okay. I'm gonna hold you again. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through it together, okay? It held for a second. It held for one second. Okay, you guys. I did it. I figured it out. You can't even see this. Look at how cute! It's so cute. I figured it out. You do have to cut the bottoms of the pine cones off. So let me set this one. See how that one has like a little pokey, has like the little stem on the bottom. I just came in with my scissors and just cut the stem down like as short as I possibly could get it. More like that. So it's like flat. See how the little stem is gone? And then you have to get a good looking cork. This one might be good. Yeah, so it's all dependent on like the size of it, if that makes sense. So like, let me show you guys with this one. So I'm going to do the glue on this side and like really slather it on there, do like a lot. Stick that guy on there and then just hold. Yeah, okay, so this one did stick. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it just sticks like that. I'm gonna hold it a little longer because it doesn't seem to be like fully adhered. But that's how you do it, guys. And I'm really excited that it worked out. It only took me 25 minutes to figure it out. But it turned out really cute and I'm happy with the way that this first one came out. Because it actually looks like a cute little Christmas bottom. So let's stand that one right there and just let it rest. Yay! But look at how cute. Look at how cute that is! I love that and I have the scented pine cones just like from before as I showed you guys. We always buy a bunch of them every year just because I think it makes the house smell really really good and they're pretty cheap for as many as you get. So we just have like a bunch of these pine cones just laying around. But you could always just like go outside and get pine cones for free. These were just the ones that I already had in the house so there was just no point of me going outside and getting some from like nature. But you definitely could do that. But it's so cute and I used a champagne cork on this one because I liked that it had like the top and then it like came out thicker so it actually looks like a little tree base. But let me see if I can even show you guys. Yay! I uh, love that for me. And that's it for day four of my Vlogmas journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas craft. It's definitely an easy one. I thought that it was going to be harder than it was going to be. And it turns out I was just being an idiot and not making the bottom flat. So obviously it wasn't going to stay glued because there was nothing to like adhere to. So definitely recommend it. It was super easy. You just have to make sure that the bottom is going to be flat so that it can stick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you tried this craft at home or a different Christmas craft and you want to share it down in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you tune in tomorrow for day five of Vlogmas. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click that little red subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything that I'll be posting, all the days of Vlogmas, and everything to come after. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!